Hi, everybody. It's Kasha Dupuy from the Niagara on the Lake Public Library. Um, hope you're all having a wonderful afternoon. Um, so we've got some new technology today for, believe it or not, week 10 um, of Not a Library Life, Create with Kasha. Um, so we're going to be making this really beautiful, really easy um, rainbow jellyfish. Um, so yes, we have some new technology, so bear with us if things kind of go awry. Um, as many of you know, probably especially over the last couple uh, months, um, technology is wonderful when it works, not so great when it doesn't, but we have you know, our fingers crossed, everything's gonna go well. Um, so it's just four o'clock now. We're gonna wait a couple more minutes um, for people to join us. And then I'll switch over to the camera um, so you can see what I'm doing over here. Um, but just before we get started, a couple housekeeping things. Um, our, my internet's been great the last couple weeks, so I don't think I really have to remind you about um, if my connection drops that I will be back. But just in case that happens, I will remind you, if it drops, I will be back. We won't abandon you. Um, also, if you are um, gonna be going to be painting along with us, um, amazing. Um, I'm going to go through all the materials you're going to need very shortly and really quickly. Um, but if you're just watching um, and you're planning on um, making this jellyfish at a later date, like later today or tomorrow, um, no problem. We're going to be uploading the video to our YouTube channel and hopefully to our IGTV channel as well. Um, so if you are just here to watch, um, that is awesome too. Thanks for joining us. Um, so you know what? I'm going to flip over to our next screen and watch this, everybody. It's exciting, ready? Ta-da! Hi! <laughs> so this is really exciting for me. It's really neat every single week. We've tried to make things better if we could, um, and this is the next level, I think. So um, to make our jellyfish painting, what you're going to need if you're going to paint along with us um, is you're going to need a covered surface, just like this. So I have my big pieces of watercolor paper um, on my trusty drafting, drafting table. Um, I have um, a surface to paint on, so I'm going to be using a piece of watercolor paper. Um, make sure that you're wearing clothes that you don't mind getting paint on. Um, so I'm wearing a shirt that, see, you can see it's got holes. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite, but it's okay because now I'll use it all the time when I'm painting and I paint quite a bit. So it's one of my favorite shirts, so I'm gonna wear it when I paint. But make sure you're wearing something you don't mind um, if it you know, possibly gets stained by paint, because it might. Um, speaking of paint, you're going to need some paints to work with today. Um, so you're going to need blue, green, pink, yellow, and white. And I know I mentioned gra um, black on the graphic, but we're only going to need like a teeny, 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 tiny bit if we use it at all. Um, so don't worry if you don't have any black. You're going to need um, water to wash a brush. You're going to need a paper towel to blot your brush after you wash it so your paint doesn't get too watery. Um, you're going to need um, something to draw with. So I have my pencil and my eraser. Um, so we're going to be using those to do the sketch of the jellyfish. Um, because we're going to be painting, you're also going to be needing some brushes. So I have my trusty three right here. So I have my um, medium flat, I have my smaller flat brush, um, and then I have my fine point brush for any details. Use what you've got. If you've only got something really big, just paint bigger. I only paint the size I do so that it fits nicely on the camera. Um, but if you have a bigger brush, just paint on something huge. I would love to see a giant painting of a jellyfish. I think that would look really, really neat. Um, and then, uh, what else do we need? Oh, this, saran wrap or some plastic wrap. Um, I have two pieces here. We're going to be using this um, to make a background color, um, sorry, the background texture. And you see I got a little bit of yellow on that. You know what, I'm just gonna roll with it. We're gonna make that happen and make it work because why not? Sometimes the things um, that you don't expect or you weren't anticipating are actually, or you think it's a mistake, they're actually the best things, the things that you love about your painting at the end, okay? So I think we went through everything we need for today's session. So you know what? Let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna move this one right over here just for a minute or two. I know I'm covering the rainbow, but I'll move it around. Um, so actually, you know what? Here, let's move this over here. I think you guys can all see it over there a little bit. Um, okay, so let's start with some sketching. <clears throat> so grab your drawing utensil. And look, mine has yellow on it. I don't know where all that yellow came from. Oh well, it's a sunny day, sunny color. Makes sense, I guess. <laughs> so we're going to start with drawing this part of your jellyfish. So kind of the top part. Now I put mine on an angle, so it's going this way. Um, you can do your straight if you like, you can point it that way. It's whatever way you want. I'm gonna draw mine again like this, um, just cause I, I find it kind of works into the corner. I'm thinking compositionally. So that rounded part kind of echoes the corner here, right? The corner, it doesn't really have a corner because it's round, but the top part of the jellyfish would fit nicely in that corner. So 
grab your pencil and you're going to do a shape kind of like a crescent like that okay now mine if you look is actually quite a bit bigger than the one i made last time but that's okay every single time you make a, a painting or a drawing it does look different so don't worry um if it does so i'm just noticing because we're using a different angle on the camera here i might have to push a little harder for you guys to see um, but don't push hard with your drawing or with your sketching mine is just so that you can see on the camera if you press too hard on paper or uh, cardboard or whatever you're using with pencil sometimes you get you jet, um, dig into the paper and you get a line that you can always see no matter how much you color you paint over it so just go really lightly okay so the next thing we're going to do, oops, sorry about that. I have headphones in today. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start in the middle here and we're going to make a teardrop. So I'm going to start, put a little point right at the top and I'm going to make a point that, um, side that goes down and then another one that goes right back up. So I went a little bit further than that. That's okay. Don't worry about that. It will actually look pretty cool when we do it that way. Okay, so we have our first teardrop in the middle. Then we're going to start back up here, and we're going to follow this line. My pencil needs to sharpen. You're going to go down and scoop up so it meets that one there. And then guess what? We're going to start here and do another one just like that. Okay? So see how I kind of did that? And these little points, you can kind of connect them up if you like, just like so. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the next side. Now I have a little bit bigger space here than I had on that side. So I might actually add another section onto this side here. So I go like that. And you know what, maybe not. It kind of worked out to just even it off like that. But if you can add like another little part here, you can, of course you can, it's your artwork. So I'm just gonna take my eraser and clean up a few of these little lines, just some of my doubles that I made. You don't have to do that because if you press really lightly, you can just paint over them just like so. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do um, is we're going to make some of, we're just going to do some of the lines just so we know where we're headed. Um, and see that there's like a really faint one here. There's a really faint one here and a really faint one here. So all you're going to do is draw some ribbons. So watch how I do this, ready? So I'm going to make these ones and they're very loose lines like that, okay? So I'm gonna do one, two, and I'm not gonna make them look exactly the same. And I'm gonna do thir a third over here. So one's pretty long, one is also a little bit longer, about the same size, and then one is shorter because it would be going off of the side of the canvas. I'm gonna start up here and watch what I'm gonna do, ready? I'm going to crisscross like this and then go along and crisscross, and then go along and crisscross. Hmm, neat, eh? So don't do like this, don't go too much. You can, if you want it really roughly, but kind of follow and then cross, and then follow and then cross, and then follow and cross. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna make that one a little bit thicker. And erase that line here. So this technique of these two lines that kind of join and then go back out and then join and then go back out kind of creates that like twisting so if you take something flat um, and you twist it here you know what look i can show you so i was practicing jellyfish on there if you twist it see how it gets wider here and wider here but really narrow in the middle same idea yep so let's do this one here so i'm going to go wider and then cross and then wider and then cross and you kind of want to follow those as well okay and I think that's all we're going to do in terms of sketching because the rest of the stuff we can add in as we go along. So you can put your pencil and your eraser to the side um, and we're going to actually work on the background first. So this is where you're going to need your saran wrap and you're going to need a little bit of water, actually quite a bit of water. And we're going to work with all the colors on your palette. So I know I have a purple jellyfish over here. Um, but that purple jellyfish I made by mixing the pink and the blue together. Um, you can make your jellyfish whatever color you want. I just went with purple because it, it kind of liked the way that the purple showed up in there. So I made that a main focal point of my jellyfish. So to do the background, it's the same way as uh, we did it when we made the whale, the whale painting. So if you join us for the whale, um, we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to start up here. I'm just going to put some water, just like so. And I'm going to go kind of around and over. If I go onto the jellyfish, that is okay. And I'm going to start with some pink, just a tiny little bit of it. Dip your brush 
and we want it to be watery, like a watercolor. I'm gonna put some more there, and then you know what? I'm gonna wet my brush. I'm not washing it completely. I'm going to go over here, and you know what? I'm gonna add in some green. And that was maybe a little bit too much, but look, no big deal. I can just pick some up and move to a new spot. And this green and this pink together actually make a really beautiful um, purple. And then, you know what? I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow, just a little bit, and I'm making it watery on my palette here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this around the spots. So if you go over, you know, those ribbons we made, that's okay too. Okay, so to get that really cool technique, what you're gonna do is take your um, saran wrap, put it on, and let it get all ripply like that and kind of press it down, just like so. And I'm gonna take this other piece I have and do the same thing over there. And we're just gonna let it dry for a couple minutes. So when you take it off, after some of this has dried or absorbed into the paper, you get these really cool kind of like shattery, um, shattery? <laughs> like they're shattered, um, like uh, ref light reflecting through water kind of look to it as well, okay? So we'll let that sit for a minute. While we're waiting, you know what, let's work on a new spot. So I'm just taking more water, working my way around the jellyfish here. And this time I'm gonna grab just a little bit of blue and I have a pretty dark blue today, but it looks very um, like deep ocean blue, like so. And I'm gonna move it down here. And then I'm going to go into my pink because I don't have any pink over here. I'm gonna add a little bit of pink, just like that. I'm gonna add some green, even though I have a lot of green up there, I kind of wanna make it look harmonious, right? And don't mix too much in one spot. Kind of take one color and let it let it find its way. You wanna kind of keep it in little sections. I'm gonna take some more yellow and just move that in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have that, it's kind of drying. Then what I'm gonna do is take off these really lightly and see we've got that first layer of texture. I'm gonna put it back, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it back over, or over from here. So I can start to get some of that texture. And then guess what, I'm gonna work on a new spot. So it's a pretty fun technique that you can do. Add some blue over here. And also, once you get this going, um, and I did it with my other jellyfish here, um, I actually, did some layers. So I let this dry. I did one layer of the um, saran wrap and then I let it dry. And then I did another layer the exact same way I'm doing it now. Um, and I got some different layers of, um, of texture in there. So see how that's a little dark? I'm just gonna add a bit of green. Sometimes green helps to cancel some of those gray tones. And then we're gonna put some more green here. And see how I'm not being like overly like careful? That's okay. We don't want this to be like the main focus of your jellyfish. It's a very beautiful background for your jellyfish, but it's not the main thing. The main thing is a jellyfish and we want that to be that way, right? Okay, so I get my other piece of saran wrap and I'm gonna put it over top, make sure it's a little puckery, just like so. And we're gonna let it dry for a couple minutes. So I think up here, is pretty dry, but I kind of like that. So it didn't look like much when I took off the saran wrap, right? It looked kind of like puddly, um, but see those like lines? I really like that. That could be like a, a kelp forest behind or like some seaweed or like kelp or um, some sea moss or something on some rocks behind, some coral, right? You can let your imagination go with some of these things here. I'm just gonna extend that a bit and move that over. And there we go, doesn't that look cool? So there it doesn't have much texture. I'm going to take this, and there's actually lots of paint. You see all those little tiny bits on there? We can actually layer that on top. And don't worry if it gets on your jellyfish. Yeah, because we're gonna paint over that. And you can experiment with how long you wanna keep your saran wrap on. It can be, you know, put it on, peel it off. You can let it dry overnight if you're watching this later. Um, you can do so many things with saran wrap to make texture in your paintings. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that today. I think I'm gonna stick with that one. 
Plus, I want you to experiment. You don't need to watch me experiment a whole bunch. I want you guys to try this. There we go. Okay, so saran wraps out of the way. Oh, sorry, lots of shaky camera today, everybody. <laughs> All right. So we are going to start to paint that jellyfish. So I'm going to make, I'm going to follow along with the one that I did before here. So I have this um, purpley kind of, uh, it's like actually like a purple gray. It looks more purple up on the camera, um, but it's actually a little bit gray in person. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to take some of my blue because I want to make a purple jellyfish and I'm going to move it to a new spot and to make blue or sorry to make purple I'm going to mix a little bit of pink in here and it's actually like a more indigo kind of purple and I really like that now I want it really really light so I'm going to leave this color here because I know that that's my main color I'm going to get as much of it off my brush as I can I'm going to move it here then I'm going to take some white from the outside and mix it in just like that Ooh, look, it's actually more blue. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's what we'll do today. Be like a more blue jellyfish instead of purple. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take a little bit more pink. There we go. So if you want it to be a little bit grayer, you can take a tiny bit of um, the black that you have, like a teeny, 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 like pin drop little dot just to, to gray it up. But I actually kind of like this color today. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to fill in these sections here. So I'm going to start from the side. I'm going to move that because I know that there's a shadow. And I'm going to start to go and fill in these sections of my jellyfish. So there's one. I'm going to take a little bit more water with mine because my paint's drying. Now, just because I take water with my paint um, to make it go a little bit further doesn't mean you have to. If your paint is flowing really nicely, you can just keep going with what you're doing. If it is kind of sticking and drying quickly before you finish where you want to finish, then yeah, add a little bit of water. But look, I'm just dipping my water or dipping my brush in the water and then mixing it in with the paint, right? Ooh, I really like this color. It's like a periwinkle. It's really pretty. Okay, so another little trick, uh, tip that I always kind of talk about when we're doing outlining is I spend all my time and all my concentration on the outlining of the space that I want to paint in and then I go like a little crazier on the inside see just a little bit Ooh, and look did you do you see that I found a little bit of a darker spot in my um, in my brush and it actually made like a little shadow on its own so that really light spot and that darker side sometimes art just you know just does it for you <laughs> okay so we're gonna outline again and then I'm gonna take some of this and blend it in. I'm going to take a little bit more water because my paint is drying. So we're just working section across, um, section by section across the jellyfish, the top, I guess, the jellyfish right here. So just like so. And actually, this, jelly, uh, this jellyfish painting was a special request um, from Liam because I... You know, remember how I always ask people of what they want to paint? Um, well, he said he wanted to paint a jellyfish, so here we are, painting a jellyfish. I hope you like it. <laughs> I hope you like it, Leah. I thought about you the whole time while I was painting or designing this one. So, sorry, I jumped ahead because I was busy thanking Liam for his suggestion. Um, but what we're going to do next is work on the ribbons. So you're just going to fill in those spots. And a cool way to fill them in, and it will actually remind your brain of how you made them. I started up here, but you're going to follow along this line because these ones are connected, right? And then you're going to follow along this other line. And then you can paint these in just like so. Now, do you see how I'm running low on the paint that I'm using here? Well, we can easily make some more because we have this color saved, right? So I'm going to take a little bit here of it. Move it back over here, take some white from the outside and mix that up. And it's not light enough, so I'm going to take some more. And I remember I took a little bit of extra pink, so I'm just going to mix that in. Is it okay if it's not exactly the same? Yeah, why not? But if I really want it a little bit bluer, I can just add some more. And then we just keep going with what we're doing. So we're going to start here, 
follow that line. It's just like following a path. Don't even worry about where, don't even worry about where you are going. Just follow that line. And then we're going to go here and bring it over like so. And I'm going to add some more water. I want a little bit more watery, a little bit more see-through, just like so. And paint that all in. Now, because my colors are a little bit different, I'm going to take a little bit of this pink, the more pinky purple that I made, and just kind of work it in this other one here. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you can put just a little bit up here, too. Those are those little tips. Uh, tips and tricks you can learn along the way. Kind of create like some harmony between your painting. So I think that's a little bit too purple, but you know what? I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to make this a little bit more bluer for my next set. And those are adjustments you can make as an artist, right? As you're doing your artwork, you're like, mm, I don't really like it, but it works there. But for the next one, I'm going to try this. Yep, that's a little bit closer. So again, I'm going to follow that path. Follow that path and then paint it in, just like so, yeah, okay, beautiful. So the next thing we're going to do after you've done your ribbons is we're going to take this color that we just painted the ribbons and the jellyfish with. We're going to take a little bit more, move it to a new spot, take some white, make it even lighter, no matter what color, if you made it pur more purple or more blue, and we're going to follow along these ribbons, so just those paths that we did before. Oops, where does it go? This way. <laughs> and don't worry if it's not perfect because this jellyfish is moving in the water and things sometimes look weird in water, right? If you've ever, you know, dove down in the pool or in the ocean and you're looking through goggles or um, looking through the water, everything looks kind of different. So we can kind of play around with those rules of viewing things underwater, right? Now, if you're noticing how I'm painting today, I'm actually not spending too much time getting perfect lines, right? We want things to look really flowy and wispy. And sometimes we get that by going a little bit faster. Okay, so I have my white here. I'm gonna get a little bit more water on mine. And we're gonna add some highlights um, to this part of the jellyfish here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to try to remember where we left those, um, those lines. And we're just going to do on the same side. So right here, follow along right here. And see, I'm not going all the way around. I'm just going on one side and doing like a part of it, just like that. And then here. And then here. This again can be wherever you like. It's very subtle. You won't see a lot, too much of it, um, but it will help to build up those layers. So from here, what we're going to do is start to work on these kind of billowy, um, these parts of the jellyfish. So I guess that they're like the billowy tentacles. And they're really easy. They look complicated, but they're really super easy. So I'm going to take some of this color, this is my main color of my jellyfish, and I'm going to make it a little bit more. So I'm going to add some more blue and I'm going to add some more pink. Do it like a purple, just like so. I'm going to add a little bit more blue just to keep it in that same kind of indigo family, just like so. And it's a little bit dark, so I'm just going to add a teeny tiny bit of white to that as well. And what we're going to do is start to create some little steps. So I'm going to start over here, and you go right up to the corner, right up as close as you can to your jellyfish, and you're going to go like this. So I'm just tapping my brush and building up those layers. Some are really wide, some are really narrow, some get really, um, some are side, side by side, some are just singles, but I'm going to build them up just like that. And I'm gonna do another one that starts here. Maybe this one will be really windy. Just like so. So you're just going to make them Go like this. Okay, and I'm going to do, I think, one more. Yeah, I'll do one more on the end here. I'm just going to make them like this. 
So lots of up and down with your brush. If they overlap over some of your other tentacles so far, that's okay. This one's gonna get really narrow. I'm gonna make this one narrow here. There we go. Okay. So don't worry if you accidentally get some up on the edge of your jellyfish. Um, you can, we're going to be using this dark color to outline up top as well. So. so you have some of the color on your brush. Once you're done all of these steps, um, kind of like frilly tentacles is what we can kind of refer to them as. I'm gonna make that one a little less round. Um, keep it on your brush, move it to a new spot, take a little bit of a lighter version, save some of that, mix it in. And we'll take some of that, move a little bit more. Oh, this color here. So we have a lighter version and all you're gonna do is follow along and cover some of those spots with the lighter color, just like that. And it makes it look 3D. It makes it look like there's a, a front and a back to it. And if you like, I might even make it a little bit lighter so you guys can see even easier. Yeah, we'll just put it on like that. So you're just doing the same step, these little tiny dashes that are going side by side to fill up your jellyfish. Like so. And you don't want to cover all of the dark um, for these frilly tentacles that you made. You just want to cover a little bit to make it look like they have two different sides. Mm -hmm. And they follow along here. Okay. So here we go for those. So since you have some of this on your um, brush, you can get a little bit more of it. I'm adding a little bit more water. And you're going to start at the top and you can just add some thinner tentacles to your jellyfish and they can overlap. Now, one thing that I like to add is every once in a while, well, you can keep them straight if you like, you can make them curly, um, it's up to you. But for some of them, if you wanna add these swirls, what you would do is head, make your, um, start at the top here, come down and then just curl it up like that. Just like so. Okay, we're gonna make a curly one here. All right, so we're gonna do one more set of those before we go on to anything else, but we're gonna make a lighter color. So I'm going to take some of, I, I'm gonna take this one here because I've got it ready. I'm gonna make it really light by taking some more white. And we're gonna do the exact same step we just did, but we're gonna add some more of the thinner tentacles to give it some more depth and we can overlap these just like that. You know what, I'm gonna make that even way lighter. Yeah, that's, there we go. And this is somewhere, if you think something's too dark, um, you can go ahead and put one of these over and it will kind of cancel out some of that darkness. It will cover some of it. It will distract from it. Just like so. All right, so from here, I'm just gonna put one there, pretend that it's attached to the top, but really it's not, and that's okay. So from here, what you're gonna do is make some of these dotted lines, okay? So we're gonna take some white, you're gonna dab it just like this, and it's just a little bit on the end of your brush, like so. And we're gonna pretend that we're following a line. We're just gonna do some of these little things that head their head down from the top of the jellyfish. Like so, and some can stop before the end if you like. Depends what you like the look of. And you know what, if they pick up some of the color from the other side, that's okay too. So I'm a little too symmetrical. There's too much of the same size there between them. So I'm gonna go like this. Kind of throw off that rhythm. So I'm just doing little dashes. You know what, that one's short. Maybe something like, you know, caught that one or just started to grow. Didn't have to go all the way down like that. Okay. Since we have this lighter color on our brush, we're gonna make it a little bit lighter, just like so. And 
Um, then we're going to add some of these shines in the top of the jellyfish. So we're going to follow along. I'm going to start with the one on the end here. We're going to follow along here and just add some stripes. And then this one we know goes like this. You can add both sides and then just add a few more stripes in there. This one I already did this side. So I'm going to go here and you're just going to make some stripes just like that. And they always kind of have a curve to them because a jellyfish is curved, right? Just like so. Okay, so since you have this light color on your brush, you know what, whatever's on there is great. Take some more white, move it to a new spot, and we're gonna go with pretty much basically only white. So there's a little bit of that color in there if you really examined it, but from here, we're just gonna do a few little shines, just like that. Okay, so I kind of like the look of that, <laughs> just the way it is right now, but I did do some details, some darker details here. So I'm gonna go a little more light, um, light handed on this side as well um, with the darker color. So you're gonna go into your darker color, whatever one you made. This is a little blue for me, so you know what? I'm going to take some more of this pink and mix it in. And I'm going to start to do some outlining. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to start and just really lightly go like that. And I know that this one kind of follows along here. And outline like that. And you can go here, like so. Just loosely follow those sketch lines that we did, just like that, okay? Now, one thing I didn't add to this guy that I really liked the look of when I was doing some research and I was going to add it and I forgot to, is some of these little tiny dots along the side there. So I'm gonna take some of my dark, the darker you know, jellyfish color that you have, move it to a new spot, and I'm gonna make it a little bit you know, a little different. I'm going to change it to make it more pink. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to add a little bit more blue. It's going to be more purple, less pink than purple. And what you can do is along the side here, you can use your fine point brush and put some dots just like that. I'm not exactly sure what these are. Maybe they're just like a, you know, protective thing for the jellyfish or something to catch attention or reflect light. It's up to you if you want to put them in. I thought, you know what, I will for this painting here. Because it's good to change up what you do, right? That's the cool thing about art is that you can change up what you're doing to make it something new every time so it doesn't get boring. Art should never be boring. Art's about creativity and trying out new things and making things, you know, things that you think you know the way that they look, making them look into something different. Yeah, it's really, art is about expressing yourself and trying new ideas. I think that's why I like art and science so much because that's what it's kind of about, right? Okay, I'm gonna put a couple more here. Now, that is kind of dark, I like it, but what you can do too, if you wanna do another layer, is take some white, mix it in with that color, to make it, and um, we're gonna do tiny little dots kind of on the side or right on top of these, and it will actually make it look like it's a little shiny. See, just like so. So you don't wanna cover all the dark. If I did a couple times, that's okay. Um, but yeah, you just wanna add a little tiny splash of this color onto these guys here. And I think, guys, this is the last step, everybody. But I'm kind of focused on this, and so let me take a look once I finish this part, and I can let you know for sure. But yeah, thank you all for joining me today to make this jellyfish. Oh, look, I got paint all over my hand. <laughs> That's okay. I do not mind. Okay, so I'm just finishing up these little spots here. All right. So... I added way more um, tentacles to this guy here than they did over there, but I kind of like it. Um, and that is how we paint a rainbow
beautiful jellyfish. So thank you all for joining me today. Um, the technology worked out pretty well. We'd love to hear if you have any feedback about it. Um, of course, as always, if you have any feedback in general about our projects or how I teach or anything like that, please let me know. Um, and of course, if you have any recommendations or suggestions or requests, um, thank you, Liam, for suggesting a jellyfish for today. Um, I would love to be able to try to make that happen. So um, you can send me an email at kdupuy at nautilpl.org. So it's right here. Um, hopefully it focuses. There's a little bit of a leg with the live stream, but kdupuy at nautilpl.org if you have any feedback for me. Um, and yes, this video um, will be uploaded to our YouTube channel later today. Um, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of this Monday. Um, and thanks for joining us again for week 10 of Create with Kasha. Um, we'll be back next week for another one. Um, and yeah, enjoy the sunshine, get outside, and have a great rest of your week. Okay, everybody. Thanks. Bye.